The key to improving cancer patient survival rates has been discovered as multidisciplinary treatment approach. Medical professionals expressed this view during a one-day cancer meeting in Ikeja, Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikuko Yedoko tells us more in this report. It is a train the trainer cancer summit for members of the Nigerian Cancer Society. They are here to learn, unlearn, and relearn the act of breaking bad news to cancer patients. The way we present the bad news, you know, may be what would worsen the bad news on its own. And so the bad news is there. Whatever has happened is constant, may never change. But how we present that bad news may be something that may haunt our patients for life. We have seen many, um, in many occasions where patients broke down. Sometimes they will even want to pick up the doctors that I reject it. It's not my, it's not my portion, whatever. I realize not just how important it is to learn and know how to break bad news properly, but I also realize the gap in knowledge, the lack of skills that exist amongst us as healthcare professionals in this regard. They applauded the idea behind the training, given the fact that oftentimes they not, breaking bad news is usually not as easy as it seems, especially in the medical setting. They harped on a multidisciplinary approach which could be of great benefit to patients. First and foremost, you need to have that multidisciplinarity where you carry everybody along. Right from the doctors, the subspecialty in doctors, the nurses, the physiotherapists, psychologists, everybody in the hospital has a role to play. Dr. Dennis Edger is a cancer survivor. Just like others, she was devastated when the news was broken to her. Immediately, she traveled out of the country. Her doctor told her she has just three months to leave. It's now six years and still counting. She's surviving the disease. When I was first told, one of the first things I felt, you're going to shock immediately. You're going to shock. Because the first thing that goes into your head is, I'm going to die. No matter what anybody says, I'm going to die. Dr. Edger's experience is one out of thousands of cases. She tells us how she's winning the battle. Everything about my cancer journey cannot be without God as the center of it. But I take everything that I'm expected to do. I do my chemo. I take everything because God didn't give me license not to do those things. It was following instruction. The theme is building strategic framework for strengthening cancer patients, support groups, and breaking the bad news in the African region. Love Ikuku Oyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.